Appalachian Wellness for a new tomorrow and a new you. I'm Raymond Dodbrink, President and CEO of Appalachian Wellness here in Asheville. Today we're going to talk about chronic inflammatory response syndrome, SIRS, and how a low amylose diet and specific medications can lower your levels of elevated matrix metalloproteinase 9, tuber necrosis factor, plasminogen activator inhibitor 1, and leptin. SIRS also causes elevations of MMP9, TNF, PAI1, and leptin. These elevations are best dealt with in two ways. First, an absolute necessity is a low amylose diet. Amylose is a high glycemic index sugar that can be quickly utilized. It's found in seeds and roots, except for onion and garlic. This means the elimination of grains such as wheat, oats, rice, barley, and rye. The chart so shows uh, different seeds that have amylose inhibitor, amylase inhibitors within them. These are okay to eat. Amarnath, quinoa, buckwheat, sorghum, and corn are all okay to eat. Second, medication or supplementation of omega-3 of omega fatty acids is used. If the leptin is less than 2, 2 grams of omega-3 fatty acids taken twice daily for a total of 4 grams a day will help lower the CRS med med mediators. If the leptin is above 7, Wellcall is a TZD-class drug used to treat diabetes. This is preferred for patients who have a higher baseline leptin level. They'll also usually have more problems with obesity. Bananas are the only high amylose fruit. These must also be avoided. Other fruit is okay to eat. For more information about low amylose diets, check our website for sites such as Surviving Mold, Pinterest, The Labyrinth, and other numerous low amylose recipes are available on the web.